everyone this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video so today is quick and easy day we are making a Halloween lollipop holder I haven't made one in a long time and this is a little bit different than I've made before actually and I think it's really cute because it goes together super quick and easy and I don't usually do a whole lot of Halloween, but I love the stamp sets this year. I got two actually for Halloween this year, and I plan on using them because they're so cute. And I'm not a spooky kind of person. I like things more whimsical um, as far as Halloween goes. So this is what we're making. It says less tricking, more treating. And I think that's so cute. And what about this ribbon? Isn't that ribbon super adorable? You know, I love anything gingham. And so this is one of our new ribbons. I'm going to get me another roll though, because I know I'm going to use this a ton. I love it. So I am using the Frightfully cute bundle, which is this right here. Isn't it so adorable? Nothing spooky really on here. And the sentiments are adorable. It says, Batty for you, you're so sweet, it's scary. Which way to the candy? And it says, Frightfully cute, and then Happy Halloween to you, and then a to and from. But look how cute. I love that they did more whimsical this year, and it does have dyes that go with it. I'm only using a couple dies out of this. I'm actually using the circle, which I already cut out, and the stars, which I already cut out. And oh my goodness, there are a lot of itty bitty stars on here. I just used the bigger ones on here just to give it a little bit more interest on the stars right there. So this is what we are using. Isn't it so cute? All right, let's get started. I'll tell you what you're gonna need for this. So you need a piece of pumpkin pie that is seven inches by two. You can make a ton of these, y'all. I did have to fussy cut the bat in the little bottle, but if I were making a bunch, I'd definitely be using my scanning cut for that because these are really easy to cut with the scanning cut. All right, so this little circle is the one I cut for that. You're also going to need two pieces of designer series paper. And these are one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And the designer series paper that I used, I didn't have Halloween. So I am using this hand penned. It is black and white, all of it. And, but look at this piece. Doesn't it kind of look like Halloween? <laughs> so this is what I'm using for the matting part of this. All right, let's get started. Oh, you need some um, extra basic white to stamp with. Let's go ahead and do our stamping. I like to do that first. It's so much easier. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment on this little circle right here. I love the less trick and no treating, or more treating. <laughs> it's so cute. So there is our sentiment. And then we're going to stamp our bat. Make sure I got that inked up real good because I like him to be dark. And then we are going to also stamp our bottle, but we're using pumpkin pie for that. And I am going to mask the bottles off here. I just got some of my sticky note here. And we're going to mask those off and we're going to stamp just that orange bottle right there that we're making it orange or pumpkin pie. So there's our bottle. I did, oh, I did this bottle too. I thought about using that, but I didn't end up using it. So I'm using my Stampin' Right marker here, and on the label here, I'm just going to put some, like, XOs on it. I mean, you can write, like, poison on there if you want to, you know, get, but I thought XO was cute. All right, so let's fussy cut these, and I'll go ahead and speed through the fussy cutting. It's really easy fussy cutting, actually, but I'll speed through it for you. All right, so there are the two little ones, the bottle and the little bat we're going to add to the front of our treat holder here. Alright, let's get the Simply Scored. 
And this is really easy, y'all. You can make a bunch of these for a Halloween party or for friends. So you are going to score on the 7 inch side at 1, 3, 4, and 6. And that's it. Super easy. And then we are going to sharpen these. And I am, again, going to use my little hole punch. And I, I think this is like an eighth of an inch hole punch. We don't carry it anymore. Stampin' Up! doesn't. But um, it's really great for this because it fits that handle on this. But you can actually use a regular hole punch. It may wiggle around a little bit more. And I like this one because it holds it still. So we are going to just hold it like that. And then we're going to just guesstimate the center here. And then just punch through both. And I'm going to grab another lollipop. You can even use the blow pops if you want. And then we're just going to put this in here. And I like how it just holds really nice with that smaller hole. You can put them through at the same time. I did that also before. It'll go through. And there you go. So let's mat it. see if I can get this glue to come out. There we go. It's getting low. I need to refill it again. I always have someone ask what kind of glue I'm using and it is the Barely Art Glue. I just bought these bottles off of Amazon. I just put fine tip glue bottle and this is what came up. And I really, really like it. You can get like 10 of them and it's not expensive at all. So I'm matting both, but this is my front this way because this is the back side. So now we're going to go ahead and add our sentiment here in the front. We're going to put our little bat on with a tiny mini dimensional here. Is going to go up at the top and then our bottle we're going to do with another mini dimensional at the bottom here and then the little stars that I cut out I cut them out of our fresh freesia but look how cute they I, I don't know if you can even see them let me pull them close look how cute they are they're so little but we are going, another thing this is really good for is adding stuff like this. So we're going to add one here. I'm going to use my, my take your pick tool because these, this is perfect for this. And we're going to put one up here. Put it there. And then we're going to do two more down here. And it, it puts enough glue on there just to hold these really good. Turn that one upside down. I'm going to use this one. They're so cute, though. I love these little stars. They're just so adorable. I'm going to keep these and put them in a little bottle so I have them for future use. <laughs> And then we just, last but not least, is this gorgeous black and white gingham ribbon. Make sure I don't waste any of this. And we're going to put a bow. If you just want to tie a knot, if you're doing it for, like, boys, because sometimes they don't like the bows. When my grandson, I'd make them for his class. He'd always say, don't put a bow on it, Grammy. <laughs> so, but there you go. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.